Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, man attacks cop at station and steals gun. And in sports, midfielder Ricardo Mora is set for a season-long loan with Finnish club. The police are now seeking a man who allegedly attacked, injured and disarmed a policeman of his service firearm at the Crossroads Police Station Thursday, August 22. According to the police, the man, a security guard who goes by the name Romario Kevin Abrams, is armed and dangerous. Reports from the Crossroads Police are that Abrahams went to the station about 1 p.m. to give a statement and submit a medical report in a case of assault occasioning actual bodily harm. While being assisted, he reportedly attacked and disarmed the police officer and quickly made his escape. The police are now urging Abrams to immediately turn himself in to the nearest police station. Roman Catholic nuns robbed in Clarendon. The Criminal Investigation Branch is probing the robbery of two foreigners in Clarendon on Tuesday. Two Roman Catholic nuns, an American and a South African, were robbed of cash, bank cards and other items along the P.J. Patterson Highway shortly after 5 p.m. It was reported that the nuns were traveling from Maypen along the Mineral Heights leg of the toll road when their car developed mechanical problems. While on the highway, a white Toyota Pro Box stopped beside the disabled vehicle. Two men in the car offered to give the women a lift to Old Harbor. However, the men proceeded to rob them of valuables. Both women were then blindfolded and placed in the back of their vehicle. They were later assisted by passing motorists. The cops have launched a search for the men. One of them reportedly goes by the alias Shane. Stunt driver probe continues. Who was the real driver of a black Mercedes-Benz motor car said to belong to West Indies cricketer Andre Russell? that was spinning donuts at a busy intersection in Kingston late last week. On Tuesday, Assistant Commissioner of Police Bishop Dr. Gary Welsh, who is the head of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, held a meeting with the reported offender at the same spot where the incident took place and said he wanted to use the incident as a teaching moment instead of penalizing the driver. The driver apologized for his actions during the exchange. He identified himself as Dennis Dietry, the personal assistant to Russell. However, Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson has confirmed that he has given instructions about the probe into the events, leading to the decision by the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch not to prosecute Dietry. He said this is due to the controversy over the incident and new information which has come to light. The development follows the firestorm in the public domain over the slap on the wrist punishment for Dietrich and also the fact hours later another video surfaced appearing to show someone else driving the car while the stunts were being performed. This second video has generated even more debate and Commissioner Anderson has acknowledged the situation. And in sports, NFL star Jamaican-born Patrick Chung indicted on cocaine possession charge. Jamaican NFL star Patrick Chung has been indicted in New Hampshire on a charge of cocaine possession. A Belknap County grand jury indicted the 32-year-old New England Patriot safety on August 8. Authorities say Chung knowingly possessed cocaine on June 25, while in Meredith, Chung's arraignment is scheduled for Wednesday. Chung, whose mother is Jamaican singer Sophia George, best known for the 1980s hit Girly Girly, has played for the Patriots for nine of his ten NFL seasons and won three Super Bowls. The Laconia Sun reports town records show that Chung owns a lakeside home in Meredith. It is not clear whether Chung has an attorney who can speak for him. The court file doesn't list one. The Associated Press left a message seeking comment with a spokesperson for the Patriots. The voicemail box for Chung's agent was full. Midfielder Ricardo Morris set for a season-long loan with Finnish club. Portmore United midfielder Ricardo Morris is all set to embark on a season-long loan with Finnish top-flight outfit Fasan Palosiora. Morris, 26, will stay at the Finnish club for the remainder of the season, which ends on November 14. But the deal provides an option for the versatile player to stay on for the 2020 season, depending on how things work out for all parties. He will share the pitch in Finland with former Portmore striker Stephen Morrissey, who has been at VPS since 2013. Morris, a St. James native, is reveling in the prospects of his first taste of plying his trade in football's greenest pastures, Europe. Morris sees nothing but possibilities to scale new heights in the pursuit of his professional dream. 
That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.